A big loss for the CBS family. Yeah, Miguel Ferrer, who starred on NCIS Los Angeles, died today of throat cancer at the age of 61. CBS 2's Peter Dowd is here with a look at the actor's decades long career. Pat and Paul, the beloved character actor, died peacefully this morning at his LA home, surrounded by family. I suggest you shop for your cats in your own time, Jones. Miguel Ferrer was a prolific actor who appeared in more than 40 movies and many TV shows during his 37 year career. I got a date, a couple models coming to my place, you know what I mean? <laughs> he appeared in the 1987 movie Robocop. You might practice walking without dragging your knuckles on the floor. Played an FBI agent on the 1990 series Twin Peaks. It's the men from the park are part of an Indian Al Qaeda cell. And for the past several years, starred on the CBS show NCIS Los Angeles. The son of Rosemary Clooney and Jose Ferrer, he started working in music before transitioning into acting. He played drums for a variety of bands and toured with his mother and Bing Crosby. The 61 year old actor was also a cousin and lifelong friend to George Clooney, who released a statement. Today, history will mark giant changes in our world. And lost to most will be that on the same day Miguel Ferrer lost his battle to throat cancer, but not lost to his family. Miguel made the world brighter and funnier, and his passing is felt so deeply in our family that events of the day, monumental events, pale in comparison. We love you, Miguel. We always will. Miguel was a very successful working actor in Hollywood. Entertainment Tonight correspondent Carly Steele says Ferrer was beloved by those he worked with. Miguel Ferrer was Hollywood royalty, so there's been a huge outpouring of love for Miguel within the Hollywood community. Actor Dean Norris tweeted, So sad to hear of the passing of Miguel Ferrer. Kind man and great actor. Rest in peace. And Don Cheadle, who appeared with Ferrer in traffic, simply posted, Amen. Such a loss. Ferrer will posthumously appear in NCIS Los Angeles as well as the upcoming Showtime revival of Twin Peaks. He is survived by his wife and two sons. Pat and Paul.